as we say every single Monday morning, but on a Wednesday, almost a Thursday, but on a Wednesday, it is a vibe. What is up, nerds? It's me, your buddy, pal, Hey Archer. Welcome back to <clears throat> welcome back to Nerdy Coffee here on Nerd Affiliated. Very special Wednesday edition of Nerdy Coffee. Your weekly, normally, Monday morning nerdy talk show where we sit back, relax. I don't have my watch on, so I can't tell how hot it is outside. But normally, we're at a nice hot... A nice hot cup of brew. Talk about the news. So good. One more time. One more time. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm excited. We're gonna. Of course, a lot has happened in the the last couple months. So I'll go over kind of some changes that may happen. I feel like everybody's doing changes videos. Ch -ch changes. But I'm going to have to do that later on in the episode. But if you have a YouTube channel, podcast, blog, blog, OnlyFans, newsletter, smoke signals, whatever it may be, put it in the chat, support one another, plug yo shit. And for some reason, for some odd reason, there we go. The camera hates my glasses. The camera just hates the glasses. It keeps focusing on the proton pack, thinking that those are my eyes, not here. So hopefully that changes. But also I have a, a completely new layout. So that's part of the reason why I was a little tardy today. It wasn't because I wasn't ready. I just, it's a new layout. So I got to get used to like, screens where they are windows where they are there's a whole monitor over here now which is quite nice i don't feel like i'm struggling uh to read comments as much can i make this longer i can i can look at that wow it's crazy i'm gonna move you guys yeah i'll keep you keep you over there makes sense <laughs> uh yeah this is great this is great let me say hi to everybody first ec collecting in the house good to see you Got Rolando in the house, Aaron Waller in the house. Good to see all of you guys. Yeah, so on, um, oh, wait, I think I have to change. There you go. I think the audio should be better. You may not have even noticed, but anyway. Um, yeah, so Monday was the Boston Marathon. If any of you uh, live up here in the area, it's a pretty big deal. It's actually a whole holiday up here. It's called Patriots Day, uh, just like the movie, actually. And on Patriots Day for the marathon, a lot of businesses closed. It's kind of like an unofficial, um, well, it's an official holiday, but it's not a federal holiday. But schools and everything closed for it. And to get to work, you have to essentially either beat the road closures or take the train uh, take mass transit. Um, so to drive in again, you have to beat the closures. So I had to be in at work by like seven thirty AM the latest. So there was no way I could do a nerdy coffee on Monday, but I figured I do in today to be a longer episode. So much to talk about. Uh, so, you know, we'll cover all that stuff. Got the man collects in the house. Good to see you. I might have to, I may have to move this over here. So I'm looking at it. Probably makes more sense. I also, in, in <laughs> trying to do things in room, forgot that I left a broom over there. So yeah, broom is part of the, the backdrop today is what it is. But uh, let's get rid of the plugs first. Of course, if you want to stay up to date with us, nerd affiliated here on instagram if you're watching on instagram here on instagram if you're watching on youtube get over to instagram.com slash nerd affiliated and keep up to date with all of us as far as memes go news etc etc but if you're into the ghostbusters kind of thing 
you can head over to the Real Nerdbusters on Instagram and follow us there. I have to admit, I've not been posting a lot the last two weeks. I think just like with a lot of uh, other creators, you know, that we've seen in, in the last couple uh, couple weeks, I was experiencing a little bit of a burnout. I was kind of like, I don't know. It was, I was kind of going through it. Not, not terribly, not in a like, you know, I'm going to stop or anything, but I was like, man, I just want to like sometimes come home and just like chill or I want to wake up. I want to watch X-Men 97 on a Wednesday and kind of just like chill, like not just be like, you know, mad dash posting everything. So, uh, last week, last week and a half, things slowed down a bit, but don't worry. We'll be back to, back to normal as of today. So, uh, thanks for bearing with me on that. Again, I'm, I'm like, if I zone out randomly, I apologize. It's merely just me being like, wow, like look at all this screen space I can work with instead of just a small monitor. This is great. This is great. Uh, did I say hi to the man collects already? If not, I will say hello again. Good to see you, sir. But like I said, we have a lot of news to talk about today, so let's get into it. And uh, we're going to talk some toys for a bit. We're, we'll start off with a little, little toy action. Um, actually, I don't even know why I need this. Yeah, I'll keep this over here. Where's the other screen? Like I said, I apologize. I'm like, yeah, that works. That's much better. Much better. The strongest one in the house, Geek Strong. Good to see you. Actually, I just finished watching your Kino and Foot Soldier 2-pack video. So that was really good. Really good. Almost making me consider getting it. Uh, the only reason I have not picked up more um, NECA Turtle stuff of the, of the movie line is shelf space. I have too many like figures right now uh, in my organizer, not on display. So I have a Kino up there. So I'm like, I don't want to put another, I don't want to get another Kino just to put them in storage. So that's really the only reason I have not picked up that two pack, but it's a great two pack for sure. All right. So uh, two weeks ago now was WrestleMania weekend and a lot of fun, a lot of uh, great changes that have happened. All of us loved it. I haven't heard any bad reviews of, uh, from WrestleMania, but something that was debuted. Well, was that two weeks ago? Yeah, it wasn't this weekend. It was weekend before that. Um, something that was debuted that we didn't talk about on the channel. We just kind of ran out of time was they announced in the WWE elites way, uh, series, I guess you could say, or line some new TMNT and WWE crossover figures. Now these are different than the ongoing, or I should say the newer WWE and Masters of the Universe collab. Uh, these again, TMNT. But what's interesting about these figures is they're not like it's it it's more of the wrestlers if they were dressing up as a TMNT character. Kind of like when the New Day come out with some like nerd related gear. Like it kind of has that vibe to it. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Hang on. Yeah. Boom. Um, so it has more of that vibe to it. So it's all right. I I, I think people are usually just hyped whenever something TMNT comes out. So there's already excitement. I do like that the New Day are involved in this line. I think that's great. Um, the Shredder here will be portrayed by the one Roman Reigns. But I don't know. Not It's not for me. It's one of those, like, if I was to get any of these, like, maybe, maybe it's on clearance I'd get them. But I... I and maybe if anything, it's Cody Rhodes because of the mask. I think the mask is is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. 
So I don't know. It, it's not they're not the best. They're not the worst. It's okay. Yeah. I think because most of these figures, I don't have them ready. So that's why I would buy this, if anything. It's like, oh, now I'll have a, a Seth Rollins figure and it's a TMNT figure. But they're all right. I don't know. What do you guys think about those? Something you're going to grab? Yeah, I totally understand. Space is a real thing. Yeah. Saying hi to EC. Uh, Walmart had a bunch of WWE wrestling figures on clearance for $4. Yeah. For sure. I, um, these days it's all about clearance, long game clearance. We've been, a lot of us have been doing that for over a year now. That's what got the whole Ross thing to pop off. So I think with this line, it would be a clearance at best, at best. Steve in the house. Good to see you. All right. Continuing on turtles. We finally had our first drop of Holothon uh, last Friday. And, no, sorry. That was, yeah, Friday. Yeah, Friday. Um, and NECA did not tell us what was dropping. They just said every Friday from the uh, 12th to the 10th would be new drops. So I think most of us assumed that the first Friday's drop would be everything that's already been in stores. So the Prey figures, the, the, all the NECA two packs of uh, Turtles, everything. But it turns out that was not the case. And it turns out the first week was Hello Kitty, a couple of foot soldiers, and the Turtle four pack of the Punk Turtles. And I think the most interesting part of this story was the fact that all of this sat in stock for hours. For hours. I was actually watching um, Mad Hatter. He did a early morning stream because, again, everybody was just curious, like, what's going to be there? How fast will it sell out? He um, he woke up 8 a.m., uh, which for him was 6 or 5 a.m. And, uh, oh, no, no, 9, 9 a.m. our time. It was like 6 a.m. his time. Woke up. Jumped on here. He kept refreshing and things stayed in stock. They stayed in stock for a couple hours. And the most surprising one was the turtles. These kind of just sat there. And my theory, and I see EC has one there. My theory was that normally you're battling the flippers whenever we have an initial launch. Like it's you, some of the collectors, but a lot of flippers. People who are just buying the maximum amount you can buy at a time. And I think a lot of the flippers are sitting on this inventory. Like they've already hit up the stores. A lot of these have been found in person. Um, what last week, even the week before in some cases. So because they're not moving, the flippers are like, ah, I'll, I'll hold off. I'm buying this one. So believe it or not, these were the last ones to sell out on that day and I debated it but again space reasons it, it just it didn't work for me I think if the jacket if this was like a WWE ultimate figure where the jacket was removable and the arms were removable and you could put on like regular arms then I would have considered it so I'm like all right you have four figures but really it's like eight because you can just like mix and match um, the outfits and you have the alternate head sculpts. So I would have probably gone with it if it, if it was like that, but, um, didn't make sense for my collection. What I did like was I was watching JB's video yesterday. He picked these up and I think this will go well in his display. Cause he has that bad gangsters bar for his display where all these different characters are interacting around like a bar setting and stuff. There's an arcade in the, in that setup. So I think for his display, this is perfect. This is perfect. And if I had something like that, again, this would work. Uh, I did debate getting them to be with Lemmy and Cliff Burton, but since I don't have any kind of drums set up and amplifiers and stuff, I figured I'd hold out. 
down the road, if there's a sale, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. So Steve said, about to watch this X-Men episode. Hope I don't shed a tear. I did watch it today. Um, no spoilers. It's not as it's not as major as last week. That's for sure. That's for sure. In fact, I didn't have X-Men on the on the list today of things to talk about, other than like it's awesome and you should watch it. But um what I will say is the show today was good. It was a good, you know, we're looking at wrestling stuff earlier. It was a good palate cleanser. Um, I'm not going to say it was filler per se. I don't, as these episodes roll out, I, I think there's so many storylines going on at one time that these are not, we're not really getting filler like that. So um, I'm not going to say it's completely filler. But it's definitely a palate cleanser from last week. So I don't think anything could be spoiled for you online necessarily that you'd be like, ah, damn. So if you, you know, if you can't watch it right away, you have time. You have time on that. Don't, you know, don't worry about it too bad. Um... EC says, I think only diehards are grabbing a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We've talked about that before on the channel where, you know, based on pricing, are you grabbing casuals or not? You know, the four packs normally, the turtle four packs normally do well. I think the first time we saw them shelf warm for a bit. What? <clears throat> wow. Sorry. Was um, it wasn't the turtles in disguise four pack. But the four pack where they were not in disguise, it was just like those same turtles in a in a set. And I think it even cost more than the turtles in disguise. So I think that was the first one that sat for a little bit, but they eventually moved. Uh, but it's, I mean, if you would have told me in 2019, 2020, that we would see 1990 and Secret of the U's turtle two packs shelf forming, I would have called you an idiot. I would have called you an idiot, but... I guess we all got them. Everybody who wanted those turtles finally got their hands on them. And now they're kind of just sitting. Figure fever in the house. Good to see ya. Oh, kind of last thing on, on X-Men before I, I forget. So I finally pulled the trigger and just in time. I pulled the trigger on Cyclops from 97 and I don't regret it. These are start. These are moving now. It's wild how a TV show could change the buying habits of us. Like we all saw these and we're like, yeah, okay. Like I'll, I'll long game it. That first episode, I was like, damn, damn. But I was thinking, too, I was like, man, who had the cooler nosedive mo moment? Cyclops in 97 or Captain America in Winter Soldier? Did he grab a shoot? Nope. Nope. Consult the blind guy in the house. Good to see you. Figure Fever saying hi, everybody. I love that. Consult saying hi, everybody. Millennium Workshop in the house. Good to see you. Uh, Consult says, I would love to have my turtles from the 80s, 90s. I Again, I had everything available. That's awesome. I used to have one when I was younger and sold all of them dirt cheap. Well, what's cool is the in Walmart, they have the... And does Target have them? No, it's just Walmart. Walmart has the Playmates turtles now. So if you wanted to essentially rebuy what you used to have... The Playmate line is that it's just new. Like they're pretty, they're pretty spot on to what they used to look like. You know, new packaging and stuff. But and they're a good price. The Playmates are what ten dollars, I think. So if you want that old school feel, you can go for that. You can definitely go for that. All right. All right. This is the one. I 
also did not think a single image of a toy could sell me on something I had no interest in having. And a lot of you may see this and be like, how did you have no interest in buying this? But I really didn't. I really had no interest. And then this one picture literally changed everything. And one of the stories of last week definitely had to be the W, the absolute W that the Marvel Legends team received for their releases last week. I don't usually use a soundboard on a, on a Monday, but it's a Wednesday. So <laughs> last week, Marvel Legends on Monday did a live stream and we all expected the live stream to mostly be X-Men 97 figures. I think that was a safe assumption, but it turns out we were all wrong. They were not X-Men 97, but there were some X-Men characters, Spider-Man characters, a nice mix of characters. And one of the things that absolutely blew our mind was the reveal of this Ghost Rider on his motorcycle from the Marvel Legends team over at Hasbro. The Akira slide, man. They, the shout out again. Whoever was the photographer that was like, oh, this is what we should do for a photo, you win. You win. And whoever decided that in the accessories, they needed to make flame ones so that the motorcycle could hold this pose. <laughs> Boom. Boom. This is one of those, it's like Dumb and Dumber. When, you know, just when I thought, you couldn't get any dumber. Yeah, totally redeem yourself. <laughs> I, I never thought they would have they would do this. Never thought they would do this. Coming off of the engine of vengeance debacle, did not think that this was possible. Now, this is not a Haslab, which is insane. I thought they would for sure find a way to Haslab this. It is pinless, elbows double jointed, legs double jointed, pinless. Comes with these flame effects. In fact, very similar flame effects to what was in the Engine of Vengeance Haslab. Comes with, it looks like multiple head sculpts and these flame accessories. You can have it in a wheelie position on your shelf with the whip. Insanity. Details in the motorcycle here. Details up here. Now, I think the only thing... That's not true. I'm already going to change my mind. I think, it, I think if they take advantage and price this at... I think if they price this at 75 it would be BS, but we'd still buy it. I think we'd still buy it. I think the real winner price, the like, hey guys, we want to do right by you for once, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. But I think they're going to make this 75. If they make this 100, that's wild. It doesn't light up or anything. But I, I feel like 75 is going to be the number. Because I don't think they announced the price at all anywhere. Unless one of you guys has seen it. Uh, figure Fever says, I agree, Archer, regarding Ghost Rider. It is a great figure. I was debating, but I think this will be an instant purchase. They probably are from the Engine of Vengeance, yeah. EC said, no way on 50. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Consult says, wow, that, that's crazy. Never thought they would do one like that. Yeah. I I mean... I thought a, a motorcycle like this would come from McFarlane. Like I bought the Batmobile or the Batcycle and it's not detailed nearly as much as this. I was like, all right, this, this kind of thing would be a McFarlane or it'd be a ramen toys and ramen toys would make this for a, a price 
so low you couldn't say no. But again, if they make this thing fifty dollars, the price of two figures, instant sellout. If you don't have premium, you're screwed. But I think even at seventy five, it's gonna it's gonna move. It's gonna move. Um, in fact, because we have time. By the way, if you guys have not done so, hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. Love you a long time. All right. And we'll talk about these other reveals too. But I want to see them talking Comes about... With an accessory yeah. that we teased out yeah. quickly before, and no one really knew what this was. It could be... Some people were guessing Phoenix. That wasn't a bad guess. I want this to be larger. Let's see. There we go. Didn't put new from Transformers. Ah, got me with the ad. Got me with the ad. We'll close this out because I don't need this. I want to make it larger. Here we go. Figures. So this looks great. It's not on a retro card. It's just uh, this time like the previous version, but this it also comes with an accessory yeah. that we teased out yeah. quickly before, and no one really knew what this was. It could be, some people were guessing Phoenix. That wasn't a bad guess, um, but this is going to go with Ghost Rider here. Yeah, So how does, how does Ghost Rider use that? He doesn't like stand on that or anything. All right, but maybe you know. it's just some extra fire accessories. Yeah. You know, let's throw in like, some additional fire accessories. I, 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 I'm a fan of fire, you know. Even those, as they're putting them on the table, with that gloss finish, that, that would have been a decent release on its own. I mean, we all would have bitched, like, hey, where's the motorcycle? But that's actually not even a bad release. If they were like, hey, normal Marvel Legends are 24, but for 35, for 30, you get this Ghost Rider with some flame effects. What's up, Patrick? Good to see you. Flying fire, I, I, I don't, uh, you know, you got to be careful with fire. Gotta be you careful. Burn. Gotta you be careful. You just like Even the flame effect on his head looks really good. The translucent plastic on there. That's like good. Right here, that's kind of yeah. cool. There's like fire. Yeah, Rah, it looks all scary. You know, demons. Ah, fire. Did we forget anything for, for Danny Ketch here? I mean, we've done bikes before, right? We've done bikes. I, I still think this item holds up. I had this complete on my desk. It's a little dusty, oh, yeah. actually. Remember this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's it's great. You know, it, it, I mean, you know, it, it serves its need. It's an awesome bike. Lots of cool fire and everything else. You can, you know, room, 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 room. But you know, every once oh. in a while, you gotta, you know, upgrade, right? <laughs> yeah. Time to upgrade some stuff. So, how about yes. 90s era? Yeah, Danny's motorcycle. Woo! Yeah. So, this thing is uh, really, you know, impressive, guys. It's got uh, fire effects, which are in, in uh, essence the kickstand for this bike. You can pop the front tire off. That's what this comes in. It plugs into the bottom, and now you can have the bike pop That's in a it. wheelie, which yeah. is kind of fun and something. That and it sounds like it has some weight to it. it. Sounds like it has some decent weight to it. Uh, it's <laughs> it's not. I mean, I would not make it through the stream. I'm not a gin guy by any stretch. But if this was a pint of gin and tonic, I would not make it. I'll tell you that now. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> uh, again, what's up, Patrick? Good to see you. Definitely pick up Ghost Rider. I hope it's 65. 65 would be a great price. Be a great price. KO in the house. Good to see you. Figure Fever saying hi. But it feels like it has weight to it. And then that part where he slammed his hand on top of it, it had like some play as well. That we've never been able to deliver before. But you can pop the wheelie stand off, pop the wheels back on there, display them, and obviously Danny can hop on here as well. Uh, it's got a handlebar that has a little bit of uh, rock left and right to it. The uh, blast shield on the front of the bike actually slides down, for oh. kind of a uh, ramming uh, battle mode, uh, something that was in some of the comic books. Uh, one of my dear friends uh, highlighted that to me and asked that we were able to put it in. So awesome. we were glad to get that in there, and it slides back up into place. And the scale is quite impressive. Uh, it's gorgeous, dark uh, metallics with a lot of washing, as you know, anything that was being burned by Hellfire would have some tarnish to it. Uh, it's got the uh, the logo 
on the, uh, I don't know if that's a gas cap or what it is in the top of the uh, center of the motorcycle, the little bits of uh, Easter eggs for Ghost Rider lore, and I'm absolutely digging and loving the uh, whole vibe of this uh, yeah. Hellscape we, figure. We I have one more image here. Yeah, that's oh, the yeah. one. Woo. Yep. So this shout out to Dan, other Dan in our sculpting Other team. Dan, other Dan. Yeah, he said, hey, as you guys are doing the photo shoots, you know, you can actually use these fire trails as kind of, um, what would you call this type of a move? The uh, Cure Slide. Type skid, yeah. yeah. The Cure Slide. Come yep. on, guys. Come on, Dan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> shout out Dan Young, man. <laughs> what is it again? The Cure Slide. Okay, all right. I didn't, I didn't know. With a disdainful guys. <laughs> Come on, what? guys. These are exactly. Experiences for us, though, yeah. Fun stuff. Absolutely. So, so yeah. One. Do we have one final shot of Ghost Rider there? We have. Uh, yes. So this is an awesome. Yeah. I love Dan Young, man. I have that that uh, TikTok of. Uh, shout to Dan Young. The reason we love the Marvel Legends team. It c continues. Dan Young is one of us. He is one of us. So yeah, this is a this is a pickup. This is a pickup. I think the only way I, I, I fail to do it is if they price this at a hundred bucks, hundred dollars. I'm out, but 50, I don't even hesitate 65, 75. I'll, I'll think about it and I'll still probably do it. 50. This is no brainer, no brainer. Um, what's cool too with ghost rider. I like is ghost rider is one of those iconic figures that like, or characters that you don't have to know anything about Ghost Rider. You, have, you don't have to know anything. When you, but when you see Ghost Rider, you know it's Ghost Rider. And if anybody comes to your house, sees it on the shelf, in one of those positions, they're going to be like, that's a dope Ghost Rider. So this is a pickup for sure. For sure. Again, great translucent plastic on that. Great, great, great. But the uh, the team over there, they uh, they did some good work. They had a really good launch, really good announcements. Uh, we got Scar here, eight inch figure, uh, the Hulk's son. If you uh, don't know, it's a pass for me, but it's a great great release. Uh, the larger figures still are pinned. Uh, for the most part, like both the legs here, double jointed, but pinned arms, pinless, but single joint makes sense. The, the size, I guess, but that's a good figure launch. I think it's hilarious how this is the scar that we all know from like world war Hulk and all that stuff. But like the scar we got on uh she Hulk was yeah. Yeah. So that was a good launch. They announced this Iron Man as well. We got uh, uh, Captain Marvel here. The true Captain Marvel. Great figure. Pinless. Double jointed. Great articulation. Uh, no toe articulation, but that's fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, it looks like two different head sculpts. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Then, yeah. Woo. I mean, Sweet Christmas, a figure that we've needed for a long time. Long time. We needed a redo of Luke Cage. We had that Afro Luke Cage from the comic come out last year. Easy skip for me. Easy skip for me. But this one with the... Uh, the brass knuckles, easy buy, easy buy. But this was something I wanted to talk about. And he comes with Iron Fist. Again, these are more comic accurate uh, releases, which I'm here for. Great translucent plastic fire effect, similar to the Ghost Rider. I'm wondering if we're getting a little too... Um, if Hass was getting a little too brave with the two packs, like don't get me wrong. This is a two pack that makes sense, right? Like iron fist and, and Luke cage power man, their team, their team, no debates, no question about it. 
great photograph. Great photograph. Uh, the effects are a little trash, but great photograph. Um, they're a solid team, but I think I think they're getting a little too. It's becoming too much with these two packs because, the, again, does this two pack make sense? Yes, but I don't think everybody needs both characters. Like, I don't need Iron Fist. If I if I had backed Giant Man, I wouldn't need regular size Hank Pym. I would just want the Wasp. So I hate the fact that they're really starting to crank out a lot more multi-packs, and the multi-packs don't have any kind of inherent discount. I feel like at this point, the, the multi-packs should be because there's a discount involved. Um, this wasn't your like business model before. It's not like, um, not like NECA, like NECA, they've always done two packs, but I don't know. That could be me over, over, like just overreaching, you know, like I may stand, stand alone on this bridge. The, one of the, the egregious ones was the daredevil three pack. If you guys remember that, it was the Daredevil, Bullseye, and Elektra. And all I wanted was Daredevil. Oh, even the new Daredevil, right? This one here. Like, it's bad enough they, they did the cell shading on him. Because I think he'd be great without the cell shading. But they made it a two-pack. And they, it's not even characters that make sense. So I think they're starting to go a little overboard on this. I rather them back up, just do some single releases again, unless you're going to two pack it with a discount. Something like this, two figures, forty dollars. You can you can twist my arm with that. Uh, the same with the other ones. You can you can twist my arm. I mean, I'm going to buy this one regardless. But, but will I? Like I don't need you got to you got to think about it like the one figure you want is 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 that price. Like is Luke Cage worth 50 bucks? Is Daredevil here worth 50 bucks? You know, the the one that's on a great discount, I'm shocked that he's not sold out yet. Is this was another one. Uh, Morbius and Doctor Strange. Not worth that. Uh, where you at? So, and this one was even higher, fifty-three dollars, because they know how bad we want that Peter Parker. So Peter Parker and Smythe. Thirty-seven bucks. That's a great deal. If you don't have that Peter Parker, um, getting him for thirty-seven dollars, because again, that's how you have to view this one. I would I would probably do it if you haven't done it already. I think Hasbro's due for a um when's their earnings call by the way? Is it next week? Uh Thursday the twenty seventh. No, that's 2023. Earnings call 2024. April 24th. Yeah, next week. All right. So Hasbro's due for a warehouse sale. They have not done one in a while. But, you know, they might be doing better than... Uh, this might be a really good quarter for them. Last quarter wasn't terrible because of all the digital sales on stuff. So this quarter may have been good as well. And that's why we're not getting any kind of warehouse sale where they're trying to push out inventory. But I, I hope if they do a warehouse sale, it stacks and this these outlet prices go down because that, that's a great pickup. The Mary Jane Green Goblin, that's a good pickup. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, something else that got released last week that did not last very long, and I was kind of pissed about that, was this uh, Kingpin, this animated series Kingpin. Not exactly animated series, but 
you know, it's with the packaging, the on-card packaging that we all love uh, in honor of the animated series. It doesn't look almost, it's, it's almost there, but it's not quite there. Uh, but yeah, they, they announced this thing. Uh, he was up for pre-order randomly. I saw a notification for something from Hasbro. I was tripping and I didn't open it. And by the time I opened it, he was sold out. So, and that was like 10 minutes later. So he's still available on some other sites. Entertainment Earth, I think. Big Bad is on there. Uh, but I really, really wanted this one at the uh, $40 mark. Great figure. There'll be another one for sure. There'll be another one for sure. Only comes with one set of hands, one alternate head sculpt. Yeah. They're, they're, they're going to make another one at some point. So I'm not too, too worried about it. But yeah, that was a great, great surprise. All right. I think that wraps up the toy news. Uh, hang on. Let's, oh, sorry. Sorry. Last one. People were also excited for these here. The Astonishing X-Men Wolverine and the Superior Spider-Man. Wolverine to me will be a pickup. I like this look. I think an, a very underrated cartoon is Wolverine and the X-Men. And that's where this, this is the look that that one borrowed from. So if you have not taken a chance to see that cartoon, you should. It's a really good cartoon. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to, I think this one I'm going to pick up for sure. I think for sure. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm going to pick this one up. Uh, I'm wondering if I can arm swap with my VHS one and make the VHS one uh, pinless. That might be my move. Because the blue is pretty, pretty close. Yeah, I might even do that. Who knows? But this is a this is a good figure, good announcement. Uh, Superior Spider Man, I, I could, I'm all right on. I don't, I don't need this one. I already have Iron Spider, which has the same like arms, so um, I'm good there. Don't need this one. But people got pretty excited for it. Sold out as well. Uh, Kraft said, yeah, sorry, Spidey. Spidey and Wolverine is all I'm going to pick up. Yeah. Forces you to buy certain characters. Yeah. I'm saving my money for the Katana Haslab. Oh, Cantina Haslab. You think they're going to do a Cantina? That's where, you're, that's what we're thinking. I have that Kingpin on retro card. That didn't come out about one year ago. Yeah. Wait, so, so for the, for the HasLab, which, which I think they confirmed was a uh, uh, Star Wars retro, right? Three and three quarter. You're going Cantina. Interesting. Why Cantina? I know uh, Yukon Phil wanted it to be a Death Star playset. That's what he was going for. Cantina, though. Interesting. I'd like to see if you're right about that. I'm not doubting you. I'm just, I'd like to see if that's what they go for. I think a Cantina is easy. They came out with the Jabba playset a while back, but I don't think that'd be a HasLab. Hmm. Rambling nerd Anthony in the house. Good to see ya. You missed the whole rant on Ghost Rider. So you're going to have to go back and watch that later. <laughs> Even I, even, even I think you're going to pick this one up. I think you're going to break your uh, exclusivity to Spider-Man and, and Mandalorian figures and pick up that Ghost Rider. I think it's going to happen. All right, so we'll, uh, let's go into some movie news, and then we'll head over to box office recap. Again, we're doing some overtime today. I got time. And then we'll do the channel update later on. So... <laughs> Someone killed this. Oh, I hit reply. Oh, you know what it was? I literally was trying to click on it to like make it bigger. Like when I do your chats. And I was like, wait, this is Instagram. That's not how that works. Uh, 
Danny Trejo said someone killed his chow. Now he's coming for for all their rings. I love that. So Keanu Reeves will voice Shadow in Sonic the Hedgehog three. Uh, sure. I'm I'm happy for. I'm happy for Keanu Reeves. Again, this is a good paycheck. He recently, what he he broke his kneecap or something, filming a movie. So I think doing a a voice role will be a nice break for him. So, or voiceover, voice actor role. So good for him. I saw the first Sonic movie. I started watching the second one. Wasn't for me. I know Aaron Waller really liked it, um, but it wasn't my jam. So I just never continued with it. So I don't know. Let me know if you're a, a Sonic fan. If you're excited for this news. I'm also a bit, I'm also kind of ready for just like brand new people to be cast for thing for things like doesn't everybody doesn't have to be like a big star to be cast in a role. My opinion, my opinion. Uh, the other big one from last week that people were going crazy over was the Hollywood reporter announcing that there's an R rated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie uh, for the last Ronin in the works. I feel like this rumor has gone on for a long time. For a long time. So I probably won't believe it until there's like a director and the cast has already been like hired. I think then I'll believe it because similar to this comment here, uh, this person says, no way, something that dark or gritty, Nickelodeon doesn't have the guts. Yeah. Now, the last animated movie I thought was really good. It was really good. I I fully expected that movie to bomb, and I had no shame in saying I was wrong. But that movie managed to both in my opinion, appeal to kids and adults. This one, you gotta, you you kind of gotta do more towards the adult. People die in the in the book. There's no way around it. It's very bloody. So, I'm here for it. I'm down. I think because of all the stupid rules, especially in Europe, it might have to just be called Last Ronin. Like they can't put in the title, TMNT or Ninja Turtles or anything like that. But if they do it, they got to do it right. So I'm not going to believe this is a thing until we have a director and the cast is already confirmed. Uh, so going back to the Hasbro conversation, Geek Strong says, Star Wars Vintage, there are some hints in the comments. Cheers is one comment from Hasbro. Interesting. Kraft says, we have the coolest stars doing voice acting for Sonics. Yeah. T3 in the house. Good to see you. I had bought this up at least two years ago. This was happening. Last running. Yeah, it's been a rumor for a long time. A very long time. So, we'll see. We'll see. I need to actually... I, it can't be, quote unquote, in the works for me. It has to be, like, in production. And you're in production when you already have a director and the cast. Yeah. Also last week, we got the trailer drop for the Joker 2, a.k.a. Fale Adu, the sequel to the Joker starring Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, this one has La uh, Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. And I don't know. I saw the trailer and I was like, I don't really need it. I don't need it. It will be mostly musical from what they said. I'm not a big musical fan. I was a fan of the first movie. It, you know, how, how long are we going to do a universe with no Batman in it? I feel like that was, I'm not going to say lightning in the bottle, but it's such a hard it's such a hard job to make a movie. I mean, ask Sony about this. It's hard to make a movie of the rogues gallery 
to a hero without the hero in the movie. And I hope it's good. I hope that this is good. I'm not... I have no reason to think it would not be good. I just don't think it's necessary. So we'll see. It Unless it gets, you know, 10 out of 10 reviews, uh, positive reviews, I'm probably not going to see this in theaters. This will be a at-home release. I think the first one I saw it in theaters, though. Pretty sure I did. But, yeah, this will be... Um, this will be a home release. We haven't talked about uh, Deadpool and Wolverine and the Penguin. Uh, just because I'm not excited about them. <laughs> I know this is, I might get canceled for this one, but I'm not excited for Deadpool and Wolverine. I got to, this is another one. I might have to see like either some dope reviews or I get an invite from Disney on that one because it's, X, I mean, X Men in '97 has me so hyped on X Men that maybe I can be convinced. But MCU is I'm so disenfranchised. I I can care less. And then the Penguin, another one. I just don't think we needed. So if they find a way to make the Penguin uh, match the vibe of the Sopranos and uh, Boardwalk Empire, then I'll be in. But outside of that, it's going to be a no for me, dog. Uh, Aaron Waller said, Deadpool is the only upcoming movie I'm excited for. Yeah. And it's only moderately. You know, I routinely forget the movies coming out. So when we look at the box office recap, I'll look at the Excel sheet to see what's coming out. Um, But yeah, Deadpool. uh, Yeah. Especially the, the whole TVA thing. Like, nothing has lined up in any of these movies as far as continuity goes. So, I I don't... Ain't doing it for me. Ain't doing it for me. This was a fun one. This one, Star Wars Theory, shared it. Um, He went nuts. Star Wars Theory went nuts on this. I don't think anything that will be said here in concept is shocking. But what I do find shocking is that Matt Sarah is the one talking about Star Wars like this. So we'll take a look in case you guys missed this thing. Uh, I don't really watch JRE like I used to. I, I really don't watch it at all anymore. But uh, I saw a bit of Star Wars theory watching this and talking about it. So I figure we'll watch this together. I'll probably have to speed up the the playback to avoid uh, <clears throat> voice breaks all day to avoid copyright strikes experience I'm sick of this woke shit yeah, and you, let you, me you tell you oh, let me tell you already at the boomer comment already with the boomer <laughs> god damn it loud and clear I am sick of what they did to fucking Star Wars they took I mean, a shit Marvel, all over it. Marvel. I'm they a get huge angry. Marvel Listen, fan. They I love that, everybody. You know? I love everybody, and I'm a, I'm a, a um, uh, my, I have three daughters. I love strong like female characters. Vasquez from fucking Aliens. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, right. Right. she was bad. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver. So, yeah, yeah, Alien Linda Warner. Hamilton. I'll go Linda on. Hamilton, Listen, Terminator. It, no, there's nothing. How about this? There's nothing wrong with making everybody badass. Now, uh, did you, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna some the wrong guys. Did you guys see Ahsoka? I did. <laughs> What's Ahsoka? My brother. It's a, yeah. it's a, uh, My brother it's a Disney Plus did. show. It's a, it's about a, a Jedi. There she is. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Rosario Dawson. Yeah, yeah she's hot. Yeah. Now, it's a not to get too geeky on you on you, but listen, it's too late. That's yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what you say when you're about to geek out on somebody. Not to not to be too political here, but you're about to be political. To to make a long story short, it's gonna be a long story. That, yeah, no, that, that, that have no, no, no. I gotta listen. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta, this is the deal with Ahsoka. It, it's not. It's based basically off of um another show, which was an animated show. Not to get too nerdy on you, George. And the, first of all, before you pick on me, George St. Pierre watches these same fucking shows. I, I talked to George about this, and we geeked the fuck. I go, George, how do we have a fight? We fucking. He's like, he's telling. He's, he's he knows more than me about all this shit. He reads the books. But anyway, that's the the thing I love the most. 
about George St. Pierre is that he's one of the most badass men on the planet. And because he only ever talked about fighting, people never learned how obsessed he was with aliens, dinosaurs, and apparently Star Wars. So shout out to George St. Pierre. <laughs> This show was a cool show, the show um, Rebels, right? And it's about this young Jedi, um, uh, Ezra, Ezra, right? So now they're doing a lot of guys. I, I stay with me for two seconds. <laughs> this, is, this is shocking. This is absolutely shocking that Matt Sarah is bringing up Star Wars Rebels right now. Not in my bingo cards for 2024. Matt Sarah, who beat George St. Pierre, by the way, one of the most um, surprising fights, finishes to a fight in history. I mean, change people's lives financially to bet on that one. They probably all lost all their money betting on other stuff, but absolute badass, both Matt Sarah and GSP. <laughs> so now the live action comes out, right? And Ezra, at the end of the series, Ezra fights this guy Thrawn, and he goes through another dimension, and he leaves a fucking hero. And now he's gonna. Now the next appearance is him live action in this series years later, right? They make him the biggest cuck in the universe, right? This guy was a fucking Jedi, badass in the cartoon. That part I disagree on. I, I don't know. I, I feel like with Rebels, it's a very revisionist history type thing. I'm not saying, uh, this is no like conspiracy theory or anything. I, I just think that when Rebels was out, people were shitting on it so hard, including myself. That I, I just thought we were done with Rebels forever. But now everybody talks about Rebels like it's like top tier show. And I feel like people need to do a rewatch to see how corny Rebels really is. It does have highlights though. It has some high highlights, some high moments. But um Yeah, I feel like Rebels was not enjoyed by a majority of people back when it came out. Uh Patrick says if you're a nerd and you have time, it must be amazing. <laughs> yeah. They have a, I'll give you a couple instances, right? They, they, get, they find him. They're on the planet. The, the, his friend finds him. I forgot her name, but she, she gives him a fucking... She's like a Mandalorian. Sabine. She gives him yeah, his lightsaber. Do your thing. Now, look. They can't make him look too cool because he's a dude. They go, hey. He goes, listen, I don't need the lightsaber. I, the force is my weapon. So already, it's pretty badass. Boo, right there. <laughs> Big boo. Uh, that was, that was kind of badass, though. I think, I think in theory, when they said that, even though he already seemed like a loser when he came back on screen, I think that was pretty badass when he said that. And I was curious to where that was going to go. Actually, Star Wars Theory, um, he brought up on his thing how Palpatine, Palpatine learned how to use lightsabers to like mock the Jedi because he thinks lightsabers are so stupid that he's like, I'm going to learn how to use these and how to use all the forms in order to, to beat you, to show you how stupid this is. So I did think it was badass when they announced when, when Ezra was like, nah, I don't need it anymore. I was like, Oh, that's like, they might do what they could have done with Luke Skywalker with how powerful he was supposed to be. Uh, Patrick says, my little bro liked Rebels, and he was in his 20s. All right. Yeah, I mean, this is early. This is this is pre-Fandom Menace stuff, so it's not even like I was judging Rebels because of, like, YouTube videos. I Every Star Wars person I talked to saw on Facebook at the time, um, I wasn't really using Reddit or anything, but, like, I feel like everybody was just shitting on the show. But... <laughs> really? He's not, the lights are they're surrounded right now, so he's he's like doing some fucking hippie shit. It's whatever. Next, this Who this this gets me now. You'll relate, Dean. You'll yeah, relate to this. Okay. I'm when with you. you. Right, listen, now there you have. They have two of these. He's been on this planet. They find them on. They have two of these uh, horses. These alien horses. It's Ahsoka, the Mandalorian chick, and Ezra. So the story of them riding on a motorcycle when it's two guys riding. Now the guy in the back, it's called riding bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's riding bitch, Ezra? Now, now, is that, is that, now is that just because you know it just happens to be no. It's it's like that on purpose. I get it. Am I going? Am I, I, mean, I, 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 I blame it on the zip. He has I it on the zip. Here's the thing. 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 Here's the thing
Conan the Barbarian could be riding on the back of a horse with a chick like at the reins, and no one would question shit. Right. Yes. Well, unless you know, that's like, he thinks she's so badass. Imagine he thinks she's Sonya. so badass. <laughs> right. He yes. lets her. Yeah, Sonya. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to be humping the chick. He was banging. He's got to be. Exactly. Well, yeah, he's got to be humping the chick. The warrior lady. Yeah. Hold on. Different. Different. Oh man, that's um. Uh. That was this check here. Valeria. Yeah, that was. I mean, where's the pictures? Oh, images. Oh, even her, Grace Jones. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think anybody would question that if Arnold was riding behind. She's like the driver and Arnold's doing badass shit or whatever. Hell, I mean, Conan gets uh he spoiler alert on a 1982 movie, Conan dies in the movie and she and uh the other dude, I've got his name, they had to go save save him, find his body and make the deal with the devil essentially and and resurrect him. Uh or those spirits came to take him and and she fought off the spirits. Um that led to this iconic scene here in the movie. Man, such a good movie. But I, 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 I agree. Like it, you could, you could do that if the character is doing their thing. If they're doing their thing, and and nobody would think twice about it. I disagree. I don't think he's riding, bitch. Me I don't either. think he would. I, I, I mean, he's not as I was saying, I was like, I can't defend him. Hercules riding, bitch, to Xena. I can see that. Nobody would. Nobody would blink an eye to it. <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't pick that out all the way. Yeah. This is fucking that, 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 barbarian we're talking okay, about. Okay, maybe John Wick on the back of a motorcycle killing people while his girl drives. You, you know what, man? You, you wouldn't say John Wick's a pussy. Well, you know. You know, you know what? He can't he's, very he's, he's undeniable. Guy. He cannot be a cuck. There's a Definitely big, not. There's a big but fucking... This guy was, but the guy not. that he's talking about surely was. I mean, I didn't even I think he was a badass in the show. Well, but he was a badass Thank in the you. cartoon. Yeah. So it's like... Wait a minute. You, you but it's all... Who wrote it, though? Here's the thing. It's not really Star Wars. It's just this new thing that it's, they use in Star Wars, yeah. the Star Wars universe. And Star Disney. Wars is it's, Luke Skywalker and company. Darth Vader, yeah. and that's <laughs> it. That's right. right, Obi-Wan right, right. Kenobi, right, yeah. it's C-3PO, everything else is just stealing my money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. The days, Pretty much what I think. Like, listen, right now, Han Solo would be toxic. Han Solo was yeah. the fucking PIMP. Yeah. How about when Han Solo was about to go with the... You, actually, I was watching uh, when I showed my wife Ghostbusters. We were both like Bill Murray would be not just canceled, but in the movie he would have been like sent to HR for like sexual advances on on somebody like unwanted sexual advances. Different time. I don't think Han Solo would be that toxic, but I I see where they're going with it for sure. The fucking carbonite. As a kid watching this, as a kid, oh, it's emotional. He's getting lowered into the fucking carbon. You don't know if he's going to survive this thing. Right. Chewie's sitting there upset. Fucking Lando's being a bit of a, you know, we're unsure about Lando. <laughs> and Leia. No, wait a minute. Wait, wait, I, love, I love Lando. He's, he's a badass. But Leia goes to him, I love you. What the fuck does he say back? Watch this. What does he say back? Could you, could you play it or no? Watch this. He says, I know. Right? Spoilers, Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch this. Watch this. Look at that, first of all, yeah. Watch this. I love you. <laughs> yes! yes! Gangster. Yes! I do wanna I do wanna point something out on on um The Empire Strikes Back. So George Lucas did not direct that movie, and he was one of three writers on that movie. So a lot of times when people are talking about the OG trilogy, George Lucas, you know, all this stuff, it's not this one was not all him. Not all him at all. And I think that's something that was missing for sure in the prequels, is he needed a lot of people around him to keep him in line. His wife was one of those people. What was his wife's name? George Lucas. I 
ex-wife. Marsha Lucas. She helped him make the movies. And then um, the rumor is he had to keep sharing the residuals of this movie. And in order to, it's like the, tw- the Taylor Swift thing. In order to make the movies like a new thing that he didn't have to share residuals on, he created the special edition movies. So because the special edition movies change so much, those are technically new movies. And now he doesn't have to give her a piece of the coin. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. So whenever people shout out George Lucas, you got to you got to remember, especially when they shout out the o, the uh, OG three trilogy, um, you got to shout out Marsha Lucas as well. Her name's in there. Her name has to be in there. My fucking Star Wars. He doesn't know if he's going to live. He doesn't. And he does love her. He does. He's the but, fucking man. Yeah. I love him solo. <laughs> Wait, I love you but, hey, Ezra, Ezra, Ezra take notes. Matt Serra, former UFC welterweight champion, is also a nerd. <laughs> Nerds rule the world. Apparently so do bald guys, too. <laughs> Speaking of somebody who's the complete opposite of bald, James Gunn. James Gunn, our savior of DC, we, we hope, we hope, has been dropping a lot of teasers lately. I mean, on the screen here alone, we can talk for hours on on the various topics. Uh, the two things I want to point out: one, they f- officially started filming Peacemaker season two. Yes, yes. If there is a show that I'm excited to see, it's Peacemaker. Season one was so good. I'm 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 concerned season two won't hold up, but I think that's just a valid concern anybody would have. So. I'm hoping season two holds up. Season one was so good. So, so good. And he actually, uh, he was saying that season one is not canon to the new James Gunn DC universe. So I'm curious to see how he pulls that off. I'm curious to see how he manages to, to explain that and do whatever he has to do. But uh, I'm excited. Excited for some more John Cena, some more season two. Uh, This was the other thing of note to me. He's been dropping a lot of Superman legacy posts. And this was a random post. Mr. Mixel Pickelick. I always say the name wrong. So is everybody else. Um, Could he be the villain? In Superman Legacy, can can he will he be the villain in Superman Legacy? And could could he be the way that they do their redoing of the universe? Maybe they don't do a multiverse thing, but he just changes reality into the new reality that we're going to see in DC. Or is James Gunn just making a post? We don't know. We don't know. Peacemaker canon makes sense because how the last episode ended. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil the ending because it's so good. I think, I think more people need to watch Peacemaker. I don't think enough people watched it enough, watched it to get another season, but I don't think enough people really, really watched it. That should Uh, enough casuals. I don't think watched Peacemaker. So yeah. I'm pumped. I'm pumped for Peacemaker and posts like this make me excited for for some DC. But I'm treading with caution. I'm treading with caution. All right. We are at box office recap. Uh, again, thanks for hanging out for a little bit longer today, more than our usual hour show and on a different day of the week, on a Wednesday. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Box Office Recap over at our friend's Box Office Mojo. Uh, I was I was wrong again on something, and I'm never ashamed to say I was wrong. 
Uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire still hanging on to top five. Even more impressive, top three. So shout out to Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Shout out to all the Ghostbusters fans out there continuing to see the movie every single weekend. Um, they are pushing that thing all the way to, to being profitable. I think it's going to hit. I think it's going to hit 200. I, I, I don't know what it costs to leave a movie in theaters, but I think they, I think they can push it there. I really do at this point. So right now, domestically, 97 mil, international, 63, worldwide, 160. And as a reminder, let us go here. Only two movies have not been profitable. That was Answer the Call and at the moment, Frozen Empire. But as you could see, the total domestic, it's catching up to um, Afterlife and Answer to Call. Answer to Call just had a larger budget. So that was that. That was the fault of that movie. But right now, it's catching up to Afterlife at 97. Uh, on International, 63. We're trying to hit 74. So it's, it's just under 40 mil away if we're going by the rule of two because the budget was higher this time. So I, I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance. Now, it's, it's struggle right now. Is going to be, um, wow, Spider Man, didn't this get pushed to, it got pushed to next year, I think. I gotta, I gotta double check that date. Um, I think the only, the only risk to Frozen Empire being profitable, maybe Furiosa. I don't know if King, uh, Planet of the Apes is gonna do it. Um, I don't think the ministry is going to do it. And Deadpool Wolverine is so far away. That's in July. So I think if Frozen Empire can hang out in theaters for another month, month and a half, I think it'll, it'll cross the finish line at 200. But I don't know if that affects the... I, I don't know if it cruising like that affects the budget. Like, I don't know if there's a cost to keeping movies in theaters. I should look into that. But we'll see. We'll see. Civil War came out hot. 25 mil. Uh, this one I'm interested in seeing for sure. A very controversial movie in a good way where a lot of people are feeling some kind of way about it and really thinking um, as they're watching the movie. So I'm, I do want to see it. I do want to see it. Uh, but this one is going to need some help right now. It opened up at 24. Uh, it's not international yet. Cause it's only at 12,000 and the budget was 50. So rule of two, it needs a hundred mil to turn a profit. I think it can, if there is, if there's some good buzz going with it, but I don't know if enough people, are like, oh, you really need to see this movie and and selling it to that extent. I don't think it's happening. But we'll see. I think this movie, I think a lot of the A24 movies would do better um, on streaming if they just came out streaming first. Not in any kind of pay-per-view method, but just straight up a streaming release. I, I think they would do good. But we'll see. I, I, I do want to see it. I heard it's good. It just, it's going to struggle to hit that number. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Patrick said Frozen Empire was a fun watch. Yeah. it Hey, it's entertaining. I just don't think it's it's a great casual movie. That's the only issue. Uh, now, something that made the news last week that I didn't even know was a movie until it got pulled from the movie theater. 
And that is the American Society of Magical Negroes. I loved, I, I feel bad saying this. I loved a meme online where it said, man, when you see this dude's in a movie, you know it's about to be mid. You know it's going to be mid. I, I feel that way too, but he has put some good movies out. Detective Pikachu, good movie. Detective Pikachu was actually a good movie. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, good movie. It was actually a good movie. I think he needs to get some other roles where he's not just a quirky black guy. I think that's problem number one. Problem number two, I think, is the name of the movie. I do believe that people see that and immediately don't take it seriously. Immediately they're like, this is, I'm not watching that. They're also not going to the theater. Hey, I want to buy two tickets to the American Society of Magical Negroes. Like, I, I don't, I don't see that happening. Sorry. Um, the reviews were not good on this one. Offer some funny food for thought, but it plays things too safe to reach its full potential. You can't do that if that's the title of the movie and that's what you're going for. So I, I say all that to say the movie has already been pulled from theaters. It has been pulled. Uh, this movie opened up at one point three million. It opened up at one point three million. I've not been able to find the budget online, but worst case or bet best case probably for them, best case scenario is that movie had a budget of like ten million. But I I highly doubt it, highly doubt it. So it already got pulled. It's already on streaming and it is not, it is not. Let me see who made that. Um, American Society of Magical. Focus features. Are they on the list anywhere here? Just the one. What are we doing? Clear all. Yeah, that's the only movie I have for them on this list. So that is um that's a shame. That's a shame. I I, I like the guy. I, I do like the guy, but it's just he needs his, his agency his manager whoever needs to get him some new roles something where he's just not quirky nerdy like the loser black kid it's got to get out of that got to get out of that general kenobi good to see ya he says they uh patrick said they turned a, a keel and peel sketch into a whole movie that's what i heard it was i heard it came from that i don't know how true that is but uh today's my monday there you go <laughs> So I'm glad there's a nerdy coffee. Uh, thank you for delaying the show this week just for you. It, I did. I did. You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> now, as far as box office goes, there's, there's a trend happening this year, and I think, it's, I think it has to do with the strike and the delays due to the strike. But we're at a point now where it seems like a lot of things coming out are going to just be re-releases. We have the whole, every Spider-Man movie coming out. I think it's like every week there's going to be a, another Spider-Man drop. From the Tobys to the Amazing, and I think the Sony ones too. Uh, actually, the Tom Holland, I should say, because Sony's also the Toby movies. So we have that. Uh, Shrek 2 is coming back to theaters. And I saw the announcement of Interstellar and Alien coming to theaters. 
So that's where we're at. That's where we're at as far as theaters go, where to get people in there, we have to just do some re-releases because last weekend's showing, not very good. Not very good. I know up here in Massachusetts, schools are on uh, spring break, so maybe there's a bump, but nothing new has really come out. I think that would bump it. Uh, you can see here, uh, Godzilla didn't even break a million on Monday, so... I don't know, but I say it every week, every time we talk about this, they got to start pivoting to a new business model because that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Uh, since we're here, actually, let me see when is Spider-Man coming out. Uh... Oh, now it's just question marked. Yeah. That was supposed to be out, I think, a couple weeks ago. The original release was maybe even a month ago. And then it got pushed to next, no, two months from now. And now it's just, it's just out there. No idea. No idea. So that sucks. That does suck. But like I said, we have uh, this weekend's uh, Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Where, yeah, it's supposed to be Warfare. Did I spell that wrong there? I think I did. I did, yeah, Warfare. So we have that coming out this weekend on the 19th. Let me know if you guys are going to see this. I, as even though I'm a fan of everybody in this movie, I have no desire to see it in theaters. So we'll see how it does. Um, Henry Cavill, congratulations to him. He and his girlfriend are having uh, their respective first children. So shout out to him. Hopefully being in the news there gets this movie release like kind of on people's radars and people will see it. But um, I don't know. I'm not seeing any buzz for it, but I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before. If I had to guess a debut for that movie, Civil War did 25. Bob Marley did 28. He did, he did uh, Bomb with Argyle at 17. So... Uh, it is a Guy Ritchie movie, Patrick points out, so I'll take a peek. I feel like Guy Ritchie hasn't had a lot of steam, and he hasn't had a push in a while. I think if, if that movie hits 25, that'll be a success for it. I don't think it goes beyond that. 40, I think 40 is going to be tough. I think 40 is going to be real tough for that movie. Ghostbusters was 45. Godzilla Kong was 80. Wonka the 39, and that's a kid's movie. Or might be. Um, yeah, I think I think if if the ministry hits 25 mil opening weekend, then that's gonna be a success for it. I think that'll be a success. Uh Monkey Man also uh turned a profit. So shout out to to them over there. Low budget movie did the trick, did the trick. Ten million dollar budget, immaculate, turned a profit. That budget also ten million. So, these studios are gonna have to really lower their budgets. Look at Beekeeper, thirty six million. Mean Girls, eighteen million. Demon Slayer, seventeen million. But that's how's that, eighty eight in the hole. 44, 17. Oh, it's 88,000 in the hole. That, yeah, that's a profit. I'm going to say that hits. That already hit. Um, Iron Claw, 15.9 million. So, yeah, these movies have to really, really start lowering their budgets if they want to turn a, a profit being straight up in theaters. So, 
We'll see. Uh, let me put over here some notes. So for the ministry, um, 25 mil will be a win. Uh, Planet of the Apes. I'll come back to that. Furiosa, I've got to really research to see where I think that one falls. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, look at that. Castle in the Sky, re-release. Um, Hereditary, ooh, re-release. That's a good movie. Spirited Away, re-release. Episode one, re-release. That's on May 3rd. Um, I feel like those don't do very well either. So, going over Planet of the Apes. Where does Planet of the Apes fall? Um... So here, God, what's wrong with my voice today? Sorry. <clears throat> I called the new one the Franco verse, even though he's only in one. <laughs> yeah, get your coffee, get your refill. Uh, all right. So, Planet of the Apes previously, of the newer ones, has averaged sixty-three mil. Last one did fifty-six. One before that, seventy-two. Before that, 54. Total box office. War did eventually beat out. Rise. Lower profit. Um, they're smart. No, but see, they can't even lower the budget that much on these because there's so much CGI now. Like in the other ones, you, you had a lot of human characters still, so you can kind of kill time with that. This one seems to be mostly all apes very little human screen time so i don't think the budget goes down that much if they're lucky they match the 150 so i'm going to i'm going to predict planet of the apes maybe it gets some boomer attention so Do you think Planet of the Apes also rides the Godzilla hype? The Godzilla vs. Kong? Godzilla x Con. Um, uh, I'll do the usual um, hope for 40, but there's not even any reviews out yet for it. Um, I'm going to, um, you know what, I'm going to predict... Oh, God. I'll go 50. I'll go 50. I think enough older people, if they're going to the theaters, will see Planet of the Apes and be like, oh, yeah, I like that franchise, and not even realize it's not the old stuff, you know? So the lowest open so far has been Rise at 54. War with 56. This one I think is going to be lower than that. So I'll go 50 on that. Anybody here interested <clears throat> in seeing Planet of the Apes? I still got to see Dawn. Dawn's the only one I've not seen. Uh, Furiosa, let's just look at that one real quick and then I'll wrap today's episode. Uh, where is legacy character? I have this one as a Hardy verse. I should probably flip these. All right. So looking at the Mad Max universe here. I have the uh, the Mel verse, the Mel Gibson verse, and I have the Hardy verse. So <clears throat> this 
this budget here, um, I saw a couple articles that said the first Mad Max movie is one of the most profitable movies of all time. As far as the the ratio of budget to what it pulled in. Because, I mean, it had a budget of 350000 So even by the rule of two, which definitely didn't apply to it back then, um, it pulled $8 million. So And it, it's probably pulled way more than that. But I, I haven't seen any, like, real reputable, like, consistency on the numbers for Mad Max, the OG. So that's why I'm 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 not sure of the numbers there. But the rest of them I've seen things pretty consistent. Uh actually, you know, Mad Max 2 $500 international, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Uh there's no international numbers on Thunderdome. Don't know how, but uh Fury Road did very well internationally. <clears throat> so we have Furiosa we don't have Tom Hardy in this. We don't have Charlize Theron in this. Uh, we don't have Mel Gibson in this. So can they strike lightning in a bottle again doing a Mad Max movie with no Mel Gibson? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I think this one, best case scenario, is it matches the 45 mill open just looking at these numbers here uh international seems pretty strong i'm curious to see what countries really effed with it um but i'm i'm gonna uh, reputable name i'm gonna go with uh Pre-COVID, 45. Um, I'm going to go 40. 40 mil open on uh, Furiosa. If the reviews are good, that'll go up for sure. Because if it's anything like Fury Road and it's really, really dominant in IMAX, as far as the experience, it will do well past opening weekend. So I'm going to go 40 mil on that. And we'll see if I'm right next week. Right? No, no. Sorry. Furiosa is not for another. Furiosa is not till May 24th. After Planet of the Apes. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Cool. Um, All right. So, last thing I wanted to talk about was kind of this show and... Um, channel update. I feel like everybody's doing channel updates these days. Uh, I'm not doing this because they are. I keep losing focus. God damn it. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do a longer video at some point, maybe on the vlog channel. I'm not sure. Um, life updates of the last year. Um, but I have actually changed jobs. I have left the prior employee, uh, employer. Uh, they, again, I'll talk about that later on, but I've left them and I'm starting a new job. I'm starting a new job. I'm very excited for it. Uh, it's something I wanted to do for a long time. So I'm pretty, pretty excited for that. Uh, I will have a more regular routine as far as life goes with hours, holidays off. If you don't know, I was in retail before. So weekends off, holidays off, um, my brain cannot comprehend that. <laughs> that that's going to be a thing. I can go to more cons now, go to more family events now, uh, hang out with friends now. Like, it's crazy. It's a crazy thought. Um, so, so I'm excited for that. However, however, because it's a regular, regular job, um, uh, I am losing my 9 a.m. on a Monday availability. That is going away. So I'm not sure because I really like doing this show. I really do like uh, Nerdy Coffee version two. In case you didn't realize this is the second version of the show. It was gone for a long time. And now it's back. I enjoy doing the show. 
and I don't want to stop doing the show. So uh, one of two things may happen with the show. One, um, I may move it to like a Saturday morning show or a Sunday morning show. So curious to see what you get, what you guys think about that. I'm a big believer in consistency. So whatever I choose, I want that to kind of stick. Um, and I, I also want to respect other people's time slots. I know there's other shows that do come out on weekends. The Monday morning slot was kind of like mine. I have no qualms saying that. I feel like everybody w- everybody knew Monday morning, Nerdy Coffee, 9 a.m.-ish. That's Nerd Affiliated's time. So if I go to the weekend, I don't want to take somebody else's time slot. But also, I don't want uh, to do the weekend and then that in- I have to stop doing a show or have to miss a show because of a family event, because of a trip, because of, you know, whatever. So I feel like weekdays make the most sense. So will it be another evening show? Will Nerdy Coffee have to turn into a, an evening show? Um, not sure. So the day of the week, that's in flux. And then the time of day is in flux. Those are the two things. So uh, Kenobi says, yeah, the weekends are hard. Uh, Patrick, I, uh, is, is it this you're doing? Is it that? I can't tell. Let me see. Does it make it bigger? It, not really. Let's see. Let's see. I, I can't see. It's an O. Is it this? Just that? <laughs> uh, God, the dog upstairs is so annoying. You guys can't hear that. There. The dog upstairs has been barking this entire show. It's been barking since way long before that, but yeah, this entire show. Anyway, so I'm not sure on time of day, not sure on the day of the week. So uh, Nerdy Coffee next week may just randomly pop up, and I'm like, oh, this is the day that works. I feel like 7 a.m. is too early, but maybe that's it. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I, maybe I'll do a poll. I'll, I'll probably do that. I'll do a poll. Um, as I'm talking through this with you guys, I think weekends are out. I think I'm not going to do weekends. So is this a Monday afternoon show or is this a like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. show? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Geek Strong said, my wife called during the stream, so I'm about five minutes behind the, in the stream. I am looking forward to Planet of the Apes. Great. Have you seen Ghostbusters yet? Because you had not seen that as of last week. Kraft said, notifications are on auto. Appreciate that. Yeah, so I'll probably do a poll and just see like where everybody's at, what they prefer, and then I may have to go against the people's wishes based on just availability. Um, but we'll see. I'm trying to get into new like a new health routine too, of like working out in the morning before doing work. So a lot to think about. A lot to think about. But I'm pretty excited. Pretty, pretty, pretty excited. Um Yeah, so we'll see. But I'll do a longer video talking about all that stuff in the next coming weeks. I've been it's funny, I've been actually recording a lot of stuff and just not posting it. I've talked about that uh, before. There's like a weird um, sticker on the back of Spider-Ham here. I don't know where that's from. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I've been talking, I, I've been recording stuff, not posting about it. I've mentioned that before. I'll do a longer video at some point and... Uh, discuss everything but yeah pretty excited uh, i'm glad that you guys are are uh excited too it seems hey archer live will stay at the normal time hey archer live doesn't have to move um so far so far so we'll see um another video uh, before i wrap by the way are you, are you guys 
paying attention to the Drake stuff? Is that of interest interest to you? Let me know. Um, I got a new mod for the Proton Pack. So I will be potentially doing a video on this to on off switch, like the one in the movie. So I'll probably do a video about this, installing it on that. If I don't install it on that, it'll go on the 80% pack. We'll see. But yeah, exciting things, exciting things. Um, and I appreciate you guys being here with me on this ride. And I appreciate you sticking with me for over an hour today. I said I had time. I had time. So <laughs> we did the damn thing. Uh, let me know if you're watching X-Men 97. Let me know your thoughts afterwards. Uh, Bad Batch. I watched Bad Batch this morning. Good episode once again. We're getting to the end. Approaching the end of the series. So uh, I'm ready for things to accelerate a bit. But it'll still go the episode. Definitely... Check out General Kenobi's Bunker. Are you going to do a stream tonight, Kenobi? For sure, man. It's going to be great. Anyway, yeah. We'll be here. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Are you streaming tonight? Uh, Bad Batch recap? If you are, throw that link in the comments if you already made it. Uh, but yeah, Bad Batch was good. X-Men 97 today was good. Uh, neither one was a top episode of the season, but they were both very good. So you guys will enjoy those. I appreciate all of you who have not spoiled last week's X-Men 97. So we'll see. Kenobi said I might stream tomorrow night. All right, there you go. Whatever you decide, let me know, and I will reshare it for all to see. Let's look at this guy. I got back from Cancun last night and paying for it today. He just ran off to Cancun and partied it up. Let's see this guy over here. Kenobi, you have a job to do. You gotta make Star Wars content. No fun and games here. Can't be doing these trips to Mexico, partying on a beach, drinking cervezas. Can't be doing that stuff. Business, business, business. Kraft says, watching 97 back at the crib tonight. I'm curious to see, yeah, your thoughts on it too. It's good. It's a good episode. Uh, last week's hard to top. Last week's hard. It, it's the wrestling thing where I where I talk about palate cleansers. I think I got that from Len, from Lenny, actually. But every so often, you, you have a, a wrestling match that's, like, real over the top. Like, it's, like, action-packed. It's, you know, adrenaline's going. It, it's great. And the match after that, before the main event, usually has to be some sort of, like, mellowed out type of match just to like bring your energy down a little bit. So that way when the main event happens and that's an over the top match again, you're like, wow. So you're, it, it helps with the flow of the overall show. So I think that's what this week was for uh, X-Men. As far as star Wars goes, I think last week was a palate cleanser. This week was one again. I don't think it was necessary. They were both good episodes. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I've not seen Ghostbusters. I keep hearing the movie is just okay. So it's holding me back for a 4K Blu-ray purchase instead. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But um, hopefully it makes a profit. Hopefully it does. Hey, Archer Live every Thursday, 8.15-ish p.m. here on Nerd Affiliated. Normally, I say every Monday morning, but to be determined, Nerdy Coffee, every to be determined here on Nerd Affiliated. Uh, let us know the HasLab releases, the movie releases. What are you buying? What are you waiting for? What are you playing long game on? And uh, I'm excited for the Ghost Rider, the Ghost Rider motorcycle. Please, 5065. Like, comment, subscribe, join the channel memberships, 98 cents a month. I'm going to talk to all you nerds in the next video. Peace. I'm out of here.